Hi there, people. I'm here with a new version of Swapper, and hopefully this will be a short video. Um, this new version of Swapper is the plug-and-play version, and it, you're gonna love it, guys, definitely. Uh, it's basically a, a merged version of the two scripts, right? I've merged the reference table builder with the standard Swapper script, two-in-one, and it's super easy to set up. You, you, you'll see. Uh, you will barely need to provide any input, you just need to set up um, three things and that's it. Right, so let's jump run right into it. Uh, this is a pretty much a modified version of the previous demo version, demo mission that I was using, okay? Um, we have some extra clients on Mineral New Body, uh, but the rest is pretty much as it was, except for the clients, I've moved, ar moved them around, okay? As you can see, these clients are now set up in in sheltered parking spots because the new, this new version supports supports clients uh, deployed in sheltered parking spots. You don't have to worry anymore about statics uh, uh, spawning on the roof um, because now instead of statics, we have uh, actual AI aircraft. Uh, replacing them, but they are these are uncontrolled aircraft, you, so they are pretty much statics, okay. And also performance-wise, they they have the same impact as statics, so it's pretty much the same, okay. But better because these guys don't spawn on on top of uh, roofs, right? So any other units that are not included in in some parking spot, uh, in some airbase parking spot they will be provided with uh, replacement statics, just like before, okay? And they will be offset, as I will explain later. All right, so let's analyze the, the names now. <clears throat> as you can see, we're still using the, the old uh, suffix, in this, in this case, underscore client. But I've changed uh, things a little bit, and now we have some clients that use the suffix underscore plane, okay? And then we have some other clients that use the suffix underscore hello, okay? So we have three different suffixes here. And this new version of the script uh, allows for multiple suffixes or prefixes that you choose. And it's pretty easy to set up. So without further ado, let's jump, uh, let's jump to the script and see how all this is set up. All right, all right, let's hold our horses there because I forgot to mention something pretty important. Um, and it has to do with how um, helicopters are now, helicopters and carriers and any unit that you want to operate from farms, how they are set up. So instead of having them uh, set as um, takeoff from ramp, I set, it, I set them to takeoff from ground or you can also set them to takeoff from ground hot. Okay, doesn't matter. Right, so why do we do this? Uh, because if we do not do this, um, see what happens. Uh, let's imagine that I set them to take off from RAM, right? So we do that, we do that, right. So nice, and now we give them different, let's see, let's so these are blue helicopters. Let's find them. Okay, these are the guys. So one, this this would be on two like before, right? And then find them again. This would be on three, and the other one would be on four, right? If we do that, you can see these helicopters are still piled up, are all piled up. And the moment we try to spawn anything as a replacement. For these guys, um, they will spawn on top of each other. Okay, so that's why we can no longer uh, use this method. So instead, what we do is take these helicopters, take off from ground, take off from ground. Okay, take off from ground, and take off from ground. Right. So now we set them manually on the helipads, right? That's it. Easy peasy. 
Also, incidentally, this do you rem remember the problem from the other video that the game didn't allow you to to jump in uh, to switch clients more than five times? Okay, so this problem seems to be solved now. Now you can jump as many times as you want. At least that's what my tests seem to seem to confirm. You can jump as many times as you want, and we we've done the same with uh, with the red. Farp units, let me show you. And but there's a limitation with this, obviously, and that's a DCS limitation. It's basically that uh, for any units that you have set for uh, takeoff from ground, there's there's a limit. You cannot place them anywhere you want. Uh, you can only place them in flat terrain. Okay. So for instance, if I try to go that way, it doesn't let me, because that's not flat terrain. It's not flat enough. Or here, I cannot enter a city, right? I mean, yes, I can enter some parts if are flat and clear, but otherwise I cannot. So yeah, and this also applies through farps, so to speak. So yeah, I can set the farp here, for instance. That's not flat terrain, and if I try to to set my helicopters there, I cannot because that's not flat terrain. So this is a nasty limitation, but I, I, w I don't think it's important because uh, normally you would put place farbs in, in places that are already somewhat flat, right? So this, this doesn't impose such a restriction, I think. Okay, so just keep this, keep this in mind. Uh, whenever you want to set uh, farb clients with, a, with Swapper, with this new version of Swapper, you need to make sure to set them uh, to take off from ground or take off from ground hot. All right. Well, well, guys, here we have it. This is the new version of Swapper. And as you can see, there I've changed things a little bit here. Now you only have to worry about this section up here, this the Swapper config section. Okay. So let's explain it real quick. The first variable, which is called swapper prefixes, is actually a table which should contain all the prefixes or suffixes that you're using in your mission. In this case, like I mentioned, we are using three, three different suffixes, which are hello, plain, and clan, underscores uh, on front of them. Right, and yeah. Any relevant client that you have uh, using a specific uh, prefix or suffix, you include it here. And okay, note the following stuff: uh, the the values, the suffix or prefix values must be strings, which means they need to be uh, between quotes. They can be either double quotes like this or single quotes, right? Like this, doesn't matter. This would also be a valid. Um, a valid prefix or suffix. Also, they need to be separated by a comma because that's how tables roll in Lua, okay? All the table items need to be separated by commas. All right, so second variable that we have here is called terrain safe spawn. And this is basically a, a, another table, but this is an offset table, which is meant to, for you to handle the offsets of uh, replacement statics outside air bases. So, for instance, um, if you have a client set up on farbs or open terrain directly, meaning spawning from ground, okay, like we just uh, discussed. So, these guys are using this offset, and this is necess necessary because if you don't set an offset, your clients will spawn on top of the uh, of the boxes, of the static boxes, and crash to the ground, okay? Crash into the ground and be destroyed. And yeah, and also if you set a, an offset which is not uh, large enough, not big enough, there will be collision as well, because uh, there's some delay, especially when you run uh, this script in, mon in multiplayer, there will be some delay, all right? So uh, the statics, the replacement statics, are not always removed instantly. I mean, it takes a fraction of a second, which could be enough to damage your spawning client, okay? So that's why we set these offsets, to make sure that even though that this, that there might be some minor collision, 
it's not strong enough to cause any damage and it's only temporary it only lasts for like a fraction of a second or so right all right so what do these um, values mean x and y right so we're real quick x represents the x axis on the map uh, we're talking about a two-dimensional two-dimensional um coordinate here meaning it only has two axes and in this case we're talking about the x-axis which is uh, runs from south to north and the y-axis the y-axis runs from west to east and th and this is the deal okay if i wanted uh, for example to set an offset 10 meters to the north i go and write 10 like this if I want to set an offset 10 meters to the south, I need to go the opposite the opposite direction, so we go negative, negative 10, okay? And that's how we roll. We, we leave it at zero because we don't need anything, uh, any offset on the x right now. And then the y, which runs from west to east, same deal. Um, if we write 10, it means we're offset 10 meters to the to the east if we if we write uh minus 10 it means we are offsetting 10 meters to the west okay it's just easy peasy okay and as i said this is required to avoid collisions when spawning clients from farps and open terrain and also there's another thing to keep in mind keep offset values below 18 and as i said negative equals the opposite direction Right, so why keep them below 18? Because uh, Swapper, this new version of Swapper, and actually the previous one as well, I think, they rely on, on, on some uh, coordinate detectors, and these coordinate detectors are, are limited to within 20 meters of the spawn zone, of the, of the spawn point, okay? So if you set an offset greater than, than 20 meters, it's not going to detect uh, anything. And if, if uh, this script is not capable of detecting replacement uh, statics or units, everything is going to mes be messed up, okay? So, uh, yeah, set an offset between, I don't know, 5 or 10 meters. You can go a little higher if you want, but don't go uh, much higher than, than 18, okay? Or minus 18. This also works in the negative, okay? The limit is from plus 18 to minus 18 on both axes. All right. Okay, and finally we have the third variable, which is called Hilo Airbase Safe Spawn. And this is similar to the previous variable, but it includes an extra, an extra um, option here, which is status. You can set it either off or on. Okay. This, uh, incidentally, this needs to be a string value, so, and specifically, it needs to be either this, sorry, either this, on, low, lowercase, just keep in mind, lowercase, always, on or off, okay? In this case, yeah, I, I guess we, we can turn it on for this demonstration, let's turn it on, right? So yeah, uh, obviously, if you set it off, if you turn it off, it does, it does not apply, okay? No offsets are applied, but... If you turn it on, it applies. The offset that we define here. And we define it in the pretty, uh, pretty much the same way as we did uh, before. Okay, uh, South to north on the x, 10 or minus 10. 10 to go north, minus 10 to go south, or minus whatever, or plus whatever, you know. And the y, same, west or east. So 10 to the, to the west, no, sorry, to the east, <laughs> and minus 10 to the west. That's it. And yes, the same limitation as before applies, 18 meters, as uh, maximum 18 meters. Don't set offsets greater than, than 18 meters, please, guys. Otherwise, you're, you're going to break my script, my beautiful script. Uh, right, so as you can read here, if your Hilo clients experience spawn collisions in airbase spots, set the status to on, like, uh, like we've done. We set it to on, okay, and then fine-tune your, your offsets. And uh, yeah, that's why I've provided this uh, offset table in both variables, so you can guys you you guys can experiment with different offsets and see what works for you. All right, so surprisingly enough, that's all you need to do. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, we've set uh, the three prefixes, or in this case, they are suffixes. 
uh, underscore clan underscore plane. Nah, 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 nah. We said uh, the terrain safe spawn offset for this. Remember, this is for helicopters or planes which are spawning offside air bases. That could be the ground, the terrain, open terrain, or that could be a farb. Okay, for example, some helicopter, some carrier, whatever. And the third variable is only only applies for helicopters spawning in air bases. Okay. Which, uh, if they give you trouble, you can you can uh, enable this, and hopefully the trouble will be solved. All right, people. So we're back in the mission, and there's a final thing I wanted uh, to show you before we test, and this is uh, um, unit placement on on air bases. So yeah, uh, imagine I want to add some extra aircraft here, like I don't know, whatever, dude. Uh, MiG 29A. So let's place it. And as you can see, by default, these uh, units are pointing north, are pointing zero, right? So now I could maybe just uh, set it to take off from ramp, and there would be no issues. My uh, sw swapper, maybe it could, it would uh, automatically set it uh, the right way, right? So correct this offset. But since I'm not sure, I'm, since I'm not sure that it does that, might might it might do it, it might not. Just you do do a simple trick, apply a simple trick. Just go turning, set it to turning point or flyover point, it doesn't matter. And then you simply add um, a waypoint, all right. And then you set to edit, set it to edit. And as you can see, we can make it make it turn, okay. So we set it like we want, for example, here, and then we delete this waypoint, and then we fix the aircraft to the ramp. And there we go. And we can do this, obviously, for helicopters as well. I don't know, an MI-8, we can place it here, the same. It, it points to the north, so it's on turning point. Just add a waypoint and edit it. So if you set edit, you can move it around like this and set it like you want it. Delete it and then attach the, the thing to a ramp, to, to a parking spot. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this, guys. Nice. So time for the final check and testing, guys. Let's go over the unit names once more to make sure they are all set up as clients and they are all using the one of the three pre suffixes in this case, underscore client or whatever, right? Or hello, that's cool too. Or do I have plane? Ah, yeah. Sorry, I need to include planes in the in the selection as well. And then I have a couple of yeah. There we go, plane. Good. So. Switch back to helicopters and then we check the FARP helicopters, right? Red, for instance. Let's check that the FAP FARP helicopters. Let's see if it. Okay, there we go. These guys need to be. Oh my god, what's going on? Okay. These guys need to be set on takeoff from ground or takeoff from ho ground hot. One of the two. And they are, as you can see. Okay, this was the last one. These are all uh, these are all on takeoff from ground. Let's go to the blues, check the blues. Okay, take off from ground, good, good. And take off from ground and take off from ground. Perfect. And they're all set on clients. Okay, guys. All of them are client, all of them share this uh, one of the three uh, suffixes and the relevant FARP units are set uh, to take off from ground. So basically we check that, um, sorry about that. Okay, yes, uh, like before, like I mentioned in the other video, we need to load moose, guys, moose.lua, it's all in the uh, forum thread. We load mo uh, moose first on a mission start triggered, for instance. And then we have the spawn, uh, so, sorry, the, the swapper trigger, which in this case would be called swapper plug and play, right? Right. 
and then we load the script which is already loaded but just to make sure sorry just to make sure we load it again plug and play we save and let the magic start all right guys so we're in the mission now remember the first thing we do is uh, choose spectators uh, the, the swapper set is counted in this case we have 39 clients included right and then everything spawns give it a little bit of time because my memory my god memory is slow okay there we go and as you can see all these uh, static replacements are offset 10 meters to the east like we set them okay right everything and these guys over here did we did we apply an offset to these guys as well yes we activated it and we set an offset of 10 meters to the east as well so yeah this guy is like we should actually be spawned a little bit to the right but that's fine if 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 he's here in theory it shouldn't cause any harm to the spawning clients and then we have a surprise here oh what do we have here we have aircraft which have uh, actually spawned these guys are replacement uh, units these are uncontrolled ai aircraft inside the the shelters they don't spawn on the on the roof anymore okay they spawn inside so let's test it let's join a coalition red for instance let's start this nice so this guy this guy is um set here it's uh its replacement is set uh remember 10 meters to the east in uh, in relation to this guy so no collision should happen okay let's switch to the to another one this one is on on the far okay and we can actually test uh actually make sure that the problem we had earlier with uh with the uh, switching far clients we don't have it anymore so let's switch six times and see what happens so we are on the Huey here let's switch to the other Huey which should be this one right yes let's keep switching now the Greek MI8 which is no that's no that's not Greek that's from Iran sorry but it's not this one it's this one right okay no <laughs> Sorry, my guys, I'm making a mess here. MI8 from Iran. It's not this one. It's this one. Right. There we go. Right. Let's jump to the Chinese MI8. No, MI8 here. Sorry, guys. I'm more. F I'm focused on the countries, and I'm not. I'm not paying attention to the types okay so let's go back the way we came let's go back to the iranian the iranian would be this one nice let's go back to the other one which is russian this one keep going this one and let's go back the way we came we came this one right and then the Chinese and as you can see China no problems no problems uh, our uh, farp spots don't get blocked and everything runs fine so let's move on to I don't know the J11 there we go let's go to another one like uh, mig 29 let's yeah do you see nice let's go back to the j11 there you go see it has respawned without any issues and it doesn't spawn on the roof which is cool and then before switching coalition let's go to mount mount elbrus um where is it where is it where is it Elbrus guy here there we go 
and everything works fine. Let's switch coalitions, go to spectators. Remember that that guy will spawn again uh, in, a, in a minute maximum. Let's go to the blue, 8 and A. Right. There we go. Let's switch to the second A ten A. There we go. And as you can see the previous A ten A, we have it right there. See? It has spawned without trouble. And we can keep going. F fifteens. These guys are also inside. It is taking longer than normal, but it's uh, it's not surprising. Um, and relief is not working great lately. Okay. So let's jump to a farp, shall we? Let's see. This one should be on the farp, right? Yes. So let's do the same here with the blue uh, FARP helicopters. Let's jump to the other one. Should be Georgia. Yeah. Nice. And as you can see, the other one has spawned. Offset 10 meters to the east. Okay, let's go to the Greek. This time is the Greek MI8. There we go. Oh, by the way, which way are they pointing? The right way. Nice. They are pointing north. And let's switch to Turkey. Turkish MI8. And let's go back to make sure there are no problems. Okay, let's go to the Greek. No problems, everything re responds back. And the Georgian, slow the Georgian. And then the, the Australian. And there are no problems. We could keep going forever and hopefully. And we wouldn't have any issues. Let's go to the Su-25. Okay. There we got it. And we have the other replacement AI, uncontrolled AI there in front of us. Let's go to the P-51. P-51 here. There we go. See? Everything works. And let's go to the Mount Elborus. And then we'll go to Mineral New Body. Nice. Mineral new guys, there we go. A10 on mineral new body. This this guy has a replacement. Uh, remember, we have a the replacement for this guy is set 10 meters to the to the east. And then we switch to another mineral new body Huey. No problems. And the final one, the MI8 from Canada. All right, so yeah, everything works. No issues. Everything works as expected. So yes, guys, this new version in this new version of the script is much better in my opinion. It takes much less work, and it's much more capable. So I hope you like it. But. Uh, I'll probably keep modifying it. I'll, I'll probably keep improving it. So expect more changes in the future. My next challenge will be to uh, make it work with carrier-based clients. But uh, don't hold your breath, guys, because that that stuff is really is really stuff. Uh, sorry, really hard hard to accomplish. DCS is super weird when it comes to spawning stuff from carriers. So. I don't know. So far, I have been able to spawn uh, replacement uncontrolled AI units, but the problem is that DCS places uh, places those replacement units uh, a little bit all over the deck, you know, or on certain spots, and maybe maybe I won't be able to pull it off. Maybe I will. Who knows? We'll see.
Well, guys, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this and see you around.